Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today's video in a nutshell is my 2019 Dino race bike. Let's get into it. Take your time, it's alright. Everything will work out fine. Well, you don't wanna go there, so you take it high. So let's start with the heart of the bike. The frame. This is the Kenyan Center special painted in uh, the colors of the Netherlands and this is size medium. Since I hopped on this bike, I've been running the long chain stay. Moving on to the suspension, I got the Fox 40 Factory 2020 on the front and a DHX2 shock on the rear, supported by Satma suspension. So moving on to the cockpit, we got the Hope Tech direct mount stem, holding on to the rental fat bar, as well as my 2017 and 18 setup, I'm still riding with the Lishov Skin North Shore grips for ultimate grip on all circumstances. For that amazing stopping power, I'm riding with the Hope Tech V4 brakes. Including the disc rotors from Hope Tech as well. What's cool about like the brand Hope Tech in general is if you break the levers or you want them in different kind of colors, you can fully customize it yourself. And that's what we did with this setup as well. And I think it turned out amazing. Thanks. Funride and Hope Tech for uh, yeah, supporting me this year. So just as my 2018 build, I'm still riding with the Hope wheels. And this year they released a new set of wheels. It's called Forders 30. I've been riding with them for a couple of rounds right now. And I'm basically loving it just like the older wheels. Yeah, I think these wheels are the, probably the strongest wheels I've ever had. So if you're looking for some really strong wheels, these are your choice. For the best grip on pretty much all surfaces, so dry, wet, and a mix in between, I'm riding with the Magic Marys. Normally with a width of 2.6 on the front and 2.35 on the, on the rear. Sometimes I'll run the 2.35 on the front and the rear. Sometimes I ride the 2.6 on the front and the rear as well. Uh, but it really depends on my feelings on the track and how the grip will be and what the weather forecast is going to say. And sometimes I ride with the Dirty Dancing in like really bad conditions, but other than that, I'm normally on the Magic Marys. Inside these tires, I'm riding with the Pro Course system from Schwalbe as well. Over the past two, three years, I've been riding with this setup, and I think I maybe had like one flat, and that, that wasn't even because of riding, because I crashed or something. Yeah, and I'm really positive about this, because this helps like a lot. It even prevents from bumps in your rim. The Pro Core protects the rim a little bit. I've been riding on World Cup tracks all over Europe, European Cup. I didn't destroy any wheel or any rim. So yeah, I'm really positive about this system. If you're having a bad time with flat tires, th these ones are definitely one for you. So moving on to the drivetrain. My drivetrain is supported by SRAM GX downhill 7 speed derailleur, included the shifter, KMC chain, Tag down no cassette. And this year new release crank set, Hope Tag Evo cranks as well as the sprocket. The 
and the crank brought mallet pedals to put in the force. So to top this bike off, we got the Aragon SMB2 saddle, holding on to the Hope Tech seat post, the Moja chain guide, and last but not least, the custom design WM number plate. If you want to have your own number plate, go hit them up. I will put the link of all my sponsors in the description down below. So enough of me talking about this awesome setup. I'm like really, really happy with it. Super proud how it all turned out with the special painted frame, with the number plate, the customized brakes, and pretty much the whole setup. So thanks to all my sponsors for supporting me this year. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So enough of me talking about the setup. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. If you have any questions, by the way, comment them below. I will probably answer it, so. Bye-bye.